We're looking at a fireplace screen, one that has just been completed and the coloring process is still going on. There's still some wet uh, solution on the, on the leaves of the palm tree. So that will actually literally turn green while we're filming this, except I won't be filming it for very long. Um, this is a very much simpler one than the one we did just previously. That was a four panel bifold wide, very complex uh, screen. Four times as complex and four times as costly as this, this one. This one doesn't fold, doesn't hinge, it sets down on the, on the hearth on these brass legs with a little bit protruding out the back, just about three inches out the back. And uh, the framework will slide into the opening with just a small margin around the perimeter. So um, we, uh, we went, went with a um, tropical theme, hence the uh, palm tree. Actually, I'm strayed ever so slightly from the owner's, uh, who is also a designer, very good one, I might add, um, rough drawing, which had about an 11-inch um, canopy. And this is over 11 by a fair amount. I think there's the drawing right here. Um, but let's take a look. I think we're over by several inches. Oh, my. Actually, from 11 to 19, 17, 20, and yet I think I think it fits. I I, I hope um, that he will agree, and I think so. Uh, it just seems to be the size that works nicely with this, with the amount of area. I, I didn't want too much negative space. This is a brass screen, very heavy. In fact, the whole piece is is not lightweight at all. I, I'm guessing. Let me try this right now. Oh, oh my God. I think we're in the vicinity of 20 plus, maybe 25 pounds, uh, which would be substantially heavier than the typical screen in most homes that you would find. But it's solid, and it will last. It'll outlast the home. <laughs> It'll be around when everything else is gone. Look at how the green is still working. Really, before our eyes, it's still coming up. And I want just a little bit more green than that, but not much. I want it to, want it to look very uh, antique looking, even though this, of course, is brand new. Uh, the other thing that I want to note, and I'm hoping the lighting will let you, the viewer see the texture in the perimeter tubing. This is copper, copper pipe. Nothing unusual about the pipe. It's just ordinary plumbing. Until look at it down here, if you can. Until I run it through my um, my uh, texturing machine. I, as far as I know, it's the only one in the world. I made it. I've never seen anything else like it. And it just takes a piece of pipe and turns it into a thing of beauty. Not that pipe is ugly. It isn't. But when it's colored well. But this just adds such a nice touch. Kind of a wavy form in this case. Also sort of picking up on the, um, on the ocean theme, if you will. So that's it. This is just a simple screen. I, I just thought it would be nice to add to our list of videos on YouTube and uh, showing one more possibility of the number of things that we can do at Copper Gardens. So I hope you enjoyed it and um, would love to hear from you if you have comments or want to order a half a dozen of them for yourself. Bye for now.